Kevin from JJ Hat Center. I want to talk to you today about hat care. Uh, I've been doing so many music and guitar things, and today I just want to get right down to the hat stuff. So, all right, let's talk about basically. You just bought a hat, you know, one of these kind of dress hats. I don't like to call them fedoras. I feel like that's a weird word that's been just sort of adopted lately. Fedora to me is sort of like one of these with a big brim floppy fedora over the eye kind of thing but uh, this is a dress hat to me that's a dress hat classic hat fedora whatever you want to call it you bought one of these and you want to know basic care what do I do with it when I get it home how do I clean it take care of it uh, stains uh, maintenance all that kind of stuff okay let's get down to it first of all if you could see this black one is kind of covered in dust. Now, if you watch any of my videos, you see me at the steamer table. Generally, the very first thing I do when I pick up a hat like this, put the brim down, pop out the top, take out any feathers or anything, okay? And um, I get packing tape. Big pieces like uh, rings of packing tape, the stuff that you seal cartons and boxes with. You know what I'm talking about. It's a few inches thick like that. It's either brown or clear. So I make like a ring, cut it off, and then I wipe. I basically wipe the um, surface of it with the tape. Start with the brim, <clears throat> get the whole thing, flip the tape over. Okay, when the tape's used, take another piece, get all the dust off, even the edge. I do the edge. With wool hats, always do the edge. Wool hats, the edge always attracts dust. Fur felt hats, they don't. It's just a thing. Okay, then you do the crown. More tape. I mean, this sounds like really dumb, but you'd be surprised how many people don't think about doing this. They see me doing it, like, wow, yeah. Yeah, I should do that, yeah. But yeah, just get all the dust off. Every single bit, do the top. Flip it over, do the bottom. In other words, every single bit, get it off. Um, you don't want to really walk around with dust on a hat because um, if you get rain or snow, these hats are kind of expensive because they're rain they're waterproofed, they're rainproof naturally, they're fur felt, and they could take snow and rain for you know weeks, months, years, decades and they're okay, but if there's a surface covered with dust there, the dust mixes with the rain or it mixes with the snow and dries in these little cloudy puddles. And you have that something that looks like, I don't know, like a cloudy film on top of your hat pretty much permanently, and you can buff it out, but most people just don't do that. Um, and you can't, I mean, you can't really sand down a whole hat, you, you know, it's just not good for a hat. So, the idea is, you know, hats are going to sun fade anyway and stuff. So, you know, try to keep the dust off of it. You know, that's a good thing to do. You, know, you don't want to have to sand a layer off. It's ridiculous. Okay. Now, as far as dust, it's easy to control, and it's important to control it. Get all of that stuff off. Now, the big thing with hats, it's not that they leak water, or they're waterproof or not waterproof. It's are they going to have the same shape tomorrow after rain, after a snow or something? If I get caught with my expensive dress hat um, and the snow is piling up on it and the rain and I'm walking through, damn, I wonder if this is going to be okay tomorrow. Okay, good hats, yes, they'll, they'll usually be fine. Um, other hats, I'm going to say some hats that where well, they cut corners, if they're very thin, it's hard for them to actually hold the actual weight of a hat, especially after they're used and they get soft, there's no more stiffener left. So what happens is the rain and everything just makes it sink, sink, sink. You put it down on your table at the end of the day and then everything is basically just collapse kind of flat and it dries like that. And that locks in as your new shape. You put it back on, kind of break it like this, you know. You wind up with the floppy hobo brim, which is not a good thing. So what I'm going to say is, um, 
you as a hat owner can get these things wet. Don't do it intentionally, but you could buy cheaper rain hats. But if you do get caught in the rain, there's a couple of things you need to know. They dry the way you leave it. So if you leave it flat, it's going to look funny. The only time you do that is if you have a flat brim, like a flat, flat, totally flat, no snap at all. There are some new hats now that are flat, like the Tri-City, the Great Plains, um, other things, uh, like a boater, flat, flat. It's like that, it's okay to keep on the tabletop. Otherwise, what you're going to do is either hang it or upside down. Just invert the hat, you'll be okay. Now, the brim itself has kind of a pivot point, if you notice. There is a curve. And that pivot point right there allows it to snap up and down. Pivot point is this curve, it's called a flange. It's that scoopy shape. You want to retain that, okay? You want to preserve the curve. So don't let it dry with the brim down. Even if you're a hat wearer that wears it down, the hat is wet, flip it back up. To save the flange on the hat, you have to keep it in its up position and floating in the air, which means hanging, See, in that circular scoop shape, or upside down, still. Now if you leave it flat, there's weight on the brim and it dries flatter. And every time you do that, it dries flatter, 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 gravity, floppy brims. Plus, when it's in this position, you grab it in the same place every day, hundreds of times, maybe thousands of times. You know? Thousands, definitely. So the hat's taking the shape of your grip, and eventually you're going to wear a hole through it. Now, if your hat is upside down, like I told you to do, you're going to grab it by the brim in many different places on the brim, not the same little corner. So your hat will last and last. You're not going to have a hole in the front. Now, you got a lot of guys, especially with Panama hats, asking for me to patch the holes. But very old, uh, you know, hats like this, they get them. There's a simple way to hide it by just sort of shaping it low.